I'm so jealous of Katie Rickett, who is there for us this morning uh, on the Good Morning Britain yacht. We have a yacht. It's exciting. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, yes, you guys sent me out here to cover all the big news stories here in Canberra. I think it's gone to my head a bit. I've got a bit ooh la la, and we've managed to get on a yacht for the morning. This is our captain. He's called Matthew, and he's from the Can Boat Service. You want to give us a wave, Matthew? Uh, yes, and we are on a Riva yacht. Now, a Riva yacht is the yacht of choice for the likes of Bridget Bardot and Sophia Loren back in the 50s and the 60s. And where I am standing now on this very vessel, Justin Timberlake uh, travelled to his premiere of Trolls with Anna Kendrick just a couple of years ago. Now, I know Matthew won't mind me saying this, sorry, but he's not the biggest boat on the ocean. If you have a look out here, some of these super yachts are worth millions upon millions, and that's just to keep them uh, in the dock. Uh, this one itself is worth around a million euros. So yes, it is all about the glitz and glam here in Cannes, as I have been finding out the hard way. Can, the land of the lavish, where you can fly in by Ubercopter, rent a yacht for €100,000 a week, or pop in for something designer. For celebrities at the festival, the number one choice is the intercontinental Carlton Hotel. This is the famous staircase where all the celebrities have their photos taken before heading to the red carpet. Penelope Cruz is a big fan of this spot, and if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. The lavish ballroom is where Grace Kelly met her husband-to-be, the Prince of Monaco, in 1955. The Grace Kelly suite was set up in her honour in 2011. The likes of Sharon Stone have stayed here. But before you get too excited, during the film festival, it'll cost you €15,000 a night. But for that, you can have whatever you want. Sometimes you, you, you have started in one special fruit that is not the season to find it. We simply go where we have to the good relationship and we get it here. You never just feel like telling them to eat what they're given? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But I will not tell you the name. And Katie Rickett is in Cumbria with Jack. Now, we can't imagine what he could do that's bigger and better, <laughs> Katie. What's he up to? Well, Kate... I join you with my partner in crime and his daughter Jane from the forest in Grisdale, a big kids playground where he's about to show us that you are only as old as the man you feel by taking on this. Yes, this is the biggest zip wire they have here at Zip Trekking. It's almost 400 metres long and around 60 metres in height, taking on speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Go on. Jack, <laughs> what on earth possessed you to do this? Well, uh, I've seen the little kids climbing up a telegraph post, onto the wire, down into the playground, and I thought, damn me, I could do that. And I could do it on a bigger scale. And that is one of my ambition. And today, I'm doing it. <laughs> Wonderful, what an inspiration. And Jane, his daughter, you've had to test drive a number of zips I to meet have. the specifications, haven't you? And you're scared of heights. I'm absolutely petrified of heights, but I will conquer my height because I'm Jacko's guinea pig. In fact, I'm like a GI Jane now. I'll be jo joining army next. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all at it here. This is little Alfie you may remember from earlier. Do you want to show us your best dancing, Alfie? There you go, he's doing the flop. And these guys will be boarding a plane in round about half an hour. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and then we just thought that we'd have a little look at Katie because she went fiend for the day as the sixth beetle, we thought, when we saw her this morning, looking very smart in her outfit. Let's uh, have a look. So there, there she is on the right. Looking fabulous. Can we check her out against the Beatles? Back in their 1960s, 70s block. There you go. <laughs> she could have been. Oh, it's She's got no, you can't hear us because of the singing and the dancing. Yeah. Kristen, <laughs> shout. <laughs> Sometimes she I can like hear it. you. I like it. She's always listening. Shout just for you, mate. 
Jen. Thank you, Katie, as ever. She's always willing to dance. That's what I like about she Katie. She is. That's what we love about her. Uh, ben and Kate, I promised you I would go sledging. The only concern I have is it's not something I've actually done since I was about five. Um, <laughs> so we've been getting some advice. Apparently, the only thing I really need to be worried about is ending up in the river, which could happen. Uh, are we ready? You can look after me. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to stop talking now and give this to my cameraman. Ha! Because it is a hazard. <laughs> Everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the other... She needs a shove. <laughs> she needs a shove. <laughs> Just brilliant. Oh, brilliant. She has wiped out oh, look at that. half a dozen others. Oh, good for her. Is she getting up? Yes, she is. We're good. We're good.